Hi, I'm Miss In Hunter, and I don't know what order you're watching these videos in, but this is my last, it's actually my, my third video unboxing of the four boxes that I got from ThreadUp. I bought 200 pounds from ThreadUp. It costs this much, I'm gonna put all the details right here. It costs this much, this much per box, and then how much each item cost me from this box. That's how I'm breaking down cost of goods and doing things. Maybe when I get all four of the boxes done, I'll go back through and average out cost of goods. But usually these boxes, cost of goods is no more than like a dollar twenty a piece. So I'm not too too concerned. Anyway, if you watched unboxing number two, I had two boxes right here. Okay, I was in the same outfit in the same spot looking raggedy still. Anyway, I just decided I'm gonna open this last box. I'm just gonna do it. I was gonna hold off, but I'm just gonna do it. I keep saying third unboxing, second unboxing. I do, so this is the fourth box technically that I've unopened. I've not done a video on the second box that I technically opened. I opened it with my sister-in-law. It was not that great. It was really mid at best. Anyway, okay, let's get started. Let's open this next box. It is busting at the seams. I'm not even going to, Stop filming. I think I'm opening this. There you go. You can see it. Shoot, that might not be the best idea. Y'all are going for a ride with me. Okay. So this flap is going to hang down. It's going to drive me b -b bonkers. Okay, hold on a second. She's back. I just put something on top of it to hold it down. I'm already in this box. One, I see new with tags. And two, I see some prints that I think are cute. So let's see what we have. I'm going for the first print that I saw. And it is a foreign language, but it has all these geishas on it. This print, it does not have a size or anything like that, but I still think I might list it because I feel like it, I'm gonna move that there, move that there. I don't know, I feel like it'll sell. It seems interesting. Okay, we have some plaid next. This is Time and True, it's a size large. This I might actually list. It has very much like a gorp core camping type vibe. And usually they're larger sizes. I'll probably list it for like 15 bucks cost of goods in this box is probably less than a dollar if it sells on mercari there's no seller fees on mercari if you're like ooh, nicole say more my my code is in the description i try to remember to put all that stuff there these are homemade <laughs> this is homemade it's a skirt i can just tell it's homemade i love the the print but this is this is just homemade the <laughs> the hem isn't even um this <laughs> my mom might want that fabric my mom sews I'm my goal this summer was to learn how to sew but I'm slacking on it a little bit Hollister extra small look at this cute butterfly print a little button front adorable new with tags old navy love this just a little chambray tank top I love that it has the stretch in the back size is a size large I'm putting that off to the side for myself. <laughs> okay, this does not feel quality. Just a printed on tank top. There is Shein, extra large. Yeah. I'm loving the prints and the colors that I'm seeing so far though. This is, hmm, gold is best. I'm not, I'm not sure. What I will do is a Google search. It's like a cover up, yellow and white little mini. I, I say cover up because this slit is really big. I like that, I like that a lot. Okay, what have we here? Gosh, this is already better than the last box. This is Forever 21. It's an open front, sheer kimono type style cardigan. This actually, I'll probably sell. Even though it's Forever 21, I'm picky. If it's a style thing, something I can use lots of tags, I will usually list it. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I'm not crazy about the collar. 
Donna Morgan, but it is this daisy white over this like nude color. Actually, I kind of do like the color now and it's got this denim collar. This seems like quality. Oh, it's just so cute. This gives me like Hampton vibes. Like, well, yes, darling, we're going to our lake house. <laughs> it's a size 14 too. It's a great size like that. All right. And then H&M, ooh, that scared me. H&M divided. It's this gray and white cropped button up. Airy. Oops. This little crop tank. This is cute. Cute, cute. Got a sweater of sorts. Jones, New York. Sport. This is going to definitely be something I will list, but I will be using keywords. And very much like beach, coastal. This is something gypsy, which I don't like that word. Some culottes, culotte pants. Not very trendy, but we'll see what happens. All right, a maxi, maxi dress maybe. Blue Haven, which I feel like is um, <laughs> definitely wore something like this in like 2008. Maxi dress with the flowy on the top. It's something that it looks like something that is sold at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, like that. This feels wool. <laughs> this is, oh, it's unique low. It's really, really hard to see. There you go. But it's new with tags. It is, it's 50% wool. Sold for 130 bucks. It's this blazer jacket. Hmm, okay. Not this season. I'm filming this July 8th or something like that. But whatever. H&M divided again, kind of this utility cargo basic button up old navy size medium gauzy type blouse actually very much my style i usually like my things to be a little baggier though i don't know why oh charlotte russe but like look at that tag y'all old charlotte russe remember these remember these sleeves we'd wear like a business pencil skirt with it on the night out didn't matter the temperature <laughs> didn't matter the temperature tahari tahari doesn't sell super well for me let alone a skirt but this is kind of funky we'll see i see a print it's pink it's cheetah it is new york and company r.i.p cardigan i might list it should go for next we'll go with this this is a Kohl's brand so plain Henley I should just go pin it back but I'm like I'm in it this oh I'm very shocked so I was feeling this saw this thought hmm maybe Lululemon and then I was like looking at the rest I was like what is this it mm, says Lululemon I'm going to look for some more Lululemon clues. Okay. Lululemon. Um, I will look for a size style dot in the pockets. I'm not seeing one. So I don't know the size. And this is not the type of legging that usually has it on the inside. Oh, these like, oh, oh, this is definitely like a yoga type pant. Like it snaps open. I kind of like these. I don't think they're my size. Yeah, that's cool. So like the leg, you can open on the inside. Like that, cool. All right, my last video, if you watch that one first, which you probably did, because I'm probably going to put these up in order. Oh. These definitely like tore right here. Because, can you see the difference? If these, these stretch pretty well, these might be mine. I might try those on. Um, just because I'm gonna have to note all of that. I can't find a size dot. What 
is this? This is a bandage. Oh my gosh. Um, my last box was like, I just give me Lululemon. Give me something. There was a Tory Burch sweater in there, but the last box was so mad. I was like, just something where I'm like, ah, yes, nice. Um, y'all this thing can probably stand up on its own almost God, oops sorry y'all hold on i'm going to adjust there we go look at this bandage dress i sometimes look at this and i'm like how did we wear this why did we wear this um pleasure doing business is the brand oops Wow, terrific. Oh, more new with tags. Let's see, Craft and Borrow, which I don't know what's going on here, but sold at Kohl's, new with tags. Oh, it's it's got a, two pieces to it. It has a scarf and then it has this sweater. You know what, new with tags, before we know it, people are gonna be Christmas shopping. Yeah, it's July, I said it's July. People are gonna be thinking about it though. I'm telling you right now. I don't even want to touch that. I <laughs> started to pull out something like, no, I'll save that for a little later. Um, and new with tags. It's always great to have in your closet. Banjul, Banjul does not feel like quality, but it is cute. And usually, sometimes, sometimes when it doesn't feel like quality, that's when I am sadly mistaken. But I don't see, oh, there we go. Yeah, polyester, it's a medium. It does have a size on it. I'll look it up because last time I was like dragging my feet about listing something. I ended up listing the shirt for, I think, $60. <laughs> Ooh. No. This doesn't have a size tag or a brand tag. It's cute though. Orange cropped. Not even an inside care tag, so that will get donated. Some of these items thread up to, oh, dang it, this is cute too. But no brand tag. It's got cute little buttons, little cropped, button up short sleeve. Let me see. This is, I recognize H&M, but it doesn't have the size on it. So I will be donating it. Too bad, that's okay. It happens. Forever 21 corduroy pants, but they're belly bottoms. Okay, that sounded weird. They're bell bottoms. So those I might actually list. This is cute. High. Uh, ribbed, collared, crop, short sleeve. Feels very trendy. A very white, wrinkly turtleneck piece coming at you hot. Next. Maybe. <laughs> Turtleneck. I uh, don't see a size tag or a brand tag. Donate. So I keep saying my mom sews. She sews like she makes cute. Oh, I just got a note that my son is on his way home. My husband must have left work early. Otis goes to, to daycare at this. It's in my husband's workplace. It's offered through there. Um, She's been making like baby clothes dribble bibs dog bandanas that are so cute um and they've been a big hit and it's i think it's been fun to thrift different kind of fabrics and stuff like i thrifted curtains the other day well I, at a garage sale um and she has been able to use them to make dog bandanas even if it's just like the back of the dog bandana and so it's really cool excuse me to like repurpose and thrift and um just make old things use things new we want to keep things out of landfills anyway yada 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 um her her page is pamela's place you should check it out okay anyway emory park this is a short sleeve polka dot like wrap top it's got the wrap strings i'm not going to spend too much time because i'm already getting sidetracked oh this looks like something i bought from tj maxx a few years ago it's hmm I don't know what the V stands for. And on the inside, it's it's faded. It's worn off. But it is this blue tie-dye maxi dress. It has pockets. 
this is honestly, yeah, the inside size tag is cut out too. I, I'm going to put that in my pile because that's the kind of stuff that like, I like TMI. I like showering at night. So when I get out of the shower, I don't want to dirty up a, a new outfit for a couple hours before bed. So I love throwing on like maxi dresses like that. Absolutely not. Apartment nine dress pants. You don't even get to see them. They're just, <laughs> they're just getting donated. A vest. Okay, it's actually kind of sexy if you just like leave it unbuttoned. This is Jack by BB Dakota. Okay, don't know the age of that tag. My gosh, y'all, we are, we barely made a dent and we're 13 minutes into this. This is C9 Champion, which is sold at Target. Just a loose tank top with sizes this medium. Might try that on to play sand volleyball. I always like just having tank tops like that. Uh, 10 for two, size is AS, I don't know what that means, adult small maybe, white tank, basic, this feels like Morona, close, a new day, black and white, silver striped, it's a size large, I know I haven't been saying the sizes on all of these, I should, Liz Claiborne, ooh, vintage, then show you the tag if you want to know what the Liz Claiborne tag looks like on that one. You might just have to give it a goog. Culture Shop. It is this boho mini dress. Keyhole back or open back kind of. Dum -dum -dum. My husband's on his way home. Coldwater Creek. I haven't really sold it, but I know it's in the mall. I know it's an older woman. For the brands that I like to sell, Chico's, J. Jill, I should like to sell this too. Um, so I might actually list it because I've never given it a shot. Okay. My husband is on his way home. I've got 20 minutes, y'all. we got 20 minutes to do this. New York and Company. Woo! But look at these. Pink plaid pants. Low key. If these were my size, I would absolutely rock these. I'm definitely going to use like Elle Woods, Barbie. That's a power pant, y'all. That's great. Susan Graver. Da, 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 da. This is like a purple fuchsia type top. It is giving me very like India vibes with the beadwork and the trim. I think this is Target. No. Love Rich. Cheetah print cardigan. It's pretty soft. Okay. Ooh. What is this? A sweater dress? I think so. I thought it was ghost at first. Oh, it's just a sweater. Don't see a size tag or a brand tag, which makes me feel like it's Shein, but not even. Not a nada. So it's gonna get donated. Do, 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 do. This is Mermaid Cove. I keep going off to the side when I'm trying to show you. Okay, this is like a a swimsuit cover up top kind of deal. It's pretty cute too. Okay, this is what I've been avoiding. This dress pant two piece. Jones, New York suit is new with tags. These are the pants. I just, y'all, I don't deal with it. I don't like dress pants. Now, here's an exception. <laughs> Old Navy pixie pant and they're petite and they're new with tag, which you might be like, Nicole, why do you want to list petite? Because there are petite people out there who need pixie pants. The pixie pant from... Old Navy is a really popular pant, so. That is, and like I, I think I said in my last video, I can't remember if I said it last video or this video. Okay, this is the same as that white turtleneck, but it's black, so it's getting donated because it didn't have any thing in it. Um, If dress pants have like the style name in it and it's a newer style, if it's Banana Republic, like certain brands, I, huh, hmm, I do list them. I don't like it, but I do list them swimsuit this feels vintage just based on the material it's probably not but again no size tag no brand tag 
nothing. Darn it. That's cute. That's fun. Getting donated. All right, we're maybe halfway through the box. We got something silky here. Looks like PJs. A nightgown. Silky scratchy. It's not silky. It's absolutely polyester, and I'm guessing it's Shein. Based on the tag, yeah, it is. Size large. I will probably list it, though, because that's good for, I feel like, um, bridesmaids or whatever. New with tags. Iris. New with tags. Uh, it started at $10, got down to 5 but it's this little chambray crop tank. Maybe that'll be at Plano's Claw. They're probably done taking summer stuff around this point. New Directions Weekend. Couldn't even tell you. Not in style. T. Oh my gosh. What is this, Forever 21? You bet. I think I had this, ex <laughs> this exact skirt. Because yes, this is a skirt. Not a tube top. Could you wear it as a tube top? You could, but it's a skirt. Ay, ay, ay. Woo, doggy. Okay, I gotta adjust. I've been sitting here for too long. This is, yep, yeah, Old Navy gold polka dot. Is this kids? No. Short sleeve skirt. Okay, here. Sorry, I like run my sentences together. Ann Taylor factory petite skirt womp. And then look, I'm back sitting down. Mm. A blue polo, cotton, no brand, tag down here. This is just something cheap that's getting donated. Oh, I see tassels. You see it? What have we here? Love on a hanger. Sleeveless. I don't even know. Honestly, I might list it though and put things like Coachella Festival in the tag. Dress pants. <laughs> I'm not doing. <laughs> okay. Tank top again. Turtleneck, not a tank top. Forever 21. It says FUBU. Who remembers FUBU? <gasps> you guys, stop it. Do you think this is actually from 2005 or do, did they remake this? There are so many things that I've gotten in these boxes that just bring me straight back to high school. <laughs> Yikes, Forever 21 Plus, this is cute is pink red I love this it's a size 3x I will absolutely list it oh god okay forever 21 it's like a this and it ties your tatas fall at the bottom don't they this just shows I'm over 30 oh it's new it's not new with tags okay I might list it because it's very trendy hi dally old navy extra small petite tie-dye. Mm -hmm. There's a little avocados. This is Zoe and Liv, which I'm pretty sure is just sold like at Target. It's like kids. This has to be kids. Or it says extra small. I don't know. This might be kids extra small. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This might have to just be a part two. Look how much I, this whole box is still left. And it's been 22 minutes already. Tank top brand and size has been cut out sometimes if they have the fabric tag down here this is h h and m i think but there's no size tag there's no size on it so i'm not gonna sell it oh man i don't even know same thing cut out which is too bad because this is like a silky slip dress which yeah, down tag is cut out too. These are some shorts. Old Navy Extra Large OG Chino. I will sell those. What is this? What is this? Also, y'all, I'm just kind of losing steam myself. Gap Fit. 
size medium. I wonder if this is men's medium. Does, the, does Gap Fit do a men's line? Quarter zip. Ooh, what's this? I love this material. Like the muslin kind of. Oh, what are you? Airy. Extra large. Yeah. I'm shocked this didn't sell or they didn't accept it. Maybe there's a stain or something somewhere. Whoo, she's losing steam, y'all. She's losing steam. Skirt, extra small maxi skirt. I feel like I've been seeing more maxi skirts lately. They're making a comeback, which I'm not surprised. Styles are, they're cyclical. They will cycle back. All right, this is Gap. I love this. I love the big buttons. Cardigan. This is cute. I need to try to not keep it. Okay, it's a small. What are these? Um, no brand. Okay, okay. What time is it? Is it time for dinner? Yeah, no brand, no size. Donate. Um, so, Kohl's size nine, which is a junior size. Okay, I'm gonna pull out one more thing. And I'm gonna pause, because I don't finish this tomorrow. So you'll see me in a different outfit. No! I pulled this out, because I'm like, ooh, this is silky, sexy, maxi length, great for like a wedding. A hot date night if you're on vacation. Please have the size down here. Mm. No go. I can't end on that, right? I can't end on that. Oh, okay, actually, we're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, I can do it. RBX tank top. Size has been cut out. Donate. Um, all these initials, I don't know. These are tiny, but size six small. I don't think that's kids six. Okay. Sometimes those brands are like popular CrossFit brands or something like that. Morona, cardigan, black and white, stripes, as you can see. Um, Dally, hold on. So extra small that is getting a snag in it from another dress from the hook and eye i can do this i can do this boom sweater forever 21 peplum hem remember that short sleeve size 2x though i will sell it time and true medium new with tags this is actually cute little cardigan I think it buttons up I'm just going fast this is forever 21 I already saw the tag yellow this I probably won't sell that oh what is this oh Disney it's not Disney parks um it is space oh space mountain I feel like people love space mountain Next up, one clothing, looks like it was sold, like a skirt, has built-in shorts. Um, looks like it was sold at like TJ Maxx or something like that. That's whenever I see those tags, it sort of reminds me of, whoa, y'all, Vintage Express. I think this is a two-piecer. It's got a skirt, and then, oh no, this is something different. Okay, yep, yeah, no, not a two-piecer. This is something different. This is vintage. Chelsea Knights, high neck, dark purple. It's been dry cleaned. Ooh, this, that was probably someone's prom dress. I love that. Ooh, Lacoste, the little gaiter. I'm guessing this is men's. Do they, I think they make women's clothing. Hoodie, size large, cool. What is this, what is this? Casper, so it's vintage, but it's like this tweed metallic coat. I like that. Sorry, I'm now going fast. 
Hera. This bodysuit size is worn out. I'm not listing it anyway. Um, divided H&M line, little blue sweater. That's something I'll probably bring to like Plato's closet. Airy swimsuit. Um, oh, wait, it goes like this and then it ties in the front. Catch my drift, catch my drift, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Jennifer Lauren Plus, it's got these cute little bell sleeves. This is heavy duty, what is this? It is, that is a man's face. Meet Santos, US cotton, heavy fleece. It's just a plain green hoodie. I feel like that might be men's. Okay, I'm gonna pull all this out. Now the last tidbit of stuff. <laughs> I'm drowning. Elaine Rose, again, like a TJ Maxx kind of number. This is kind of cute. What is this? Kimchi Blue, which, yeah, is sold at like TJ Maxx Marshalls. Okay, now I pulled everything out. No, I'm going to throw it back in after I show you what it is. That's what I should do. Just dump it all out and then throw it back in. Y'all, what is this? Cus Custo line? Look at that fringe. Whoa. Artsy. Mm, this is a sweater dress that I'm trying to find the top of so I can show you. Oh, it's a sweater. Cow neck sweater. It's very small. Liz Claiborne, she owed. All right, another bikini top, question mark. This has no brand, no size. I'm just twisting it around. It's gonna get donated. Dana Buckman or whatever, however it's pronounced, that. Um, what is this? No size, no brand. This looks like it was old Apple. No, I was gonna say, it looks like it was old Athleta, but it's not. Um, this feels heavy. What is this? These are pants with, yet again, the size cut out that they had a belt. No brand, no size. <laughs> Can you hear my dog in the background? No brand, no size, little rinse cardigan. To do Shein size small, these are actually cute. They have the little is it Swiss dots on them? And last number, so I was gonna start throwing stuff in there. And last item, um, this cheap looking thing, and it is in fact a cheap little thing with no size tag donated. All right, you know what. <laughs> The dogs crack me up when they do that. I'm almost done, ladies. Almost done. I am not mad about this box. You know, some, some vintage, some just meh. There were the little women I'm going to try. Um, there's some, there are a few things I'm going to try to keep my myself, try on. Um, I just feel like decent pieces that will actually sell in this box. I'm almost done, y'all. <laughs> that I will, I don't know. This just kind of seemed like, an okay box. These boxes are so hit or miss that you just, you really don't know what you're gonna get. And so for it being such a mystery and not being able to like pick what I want, I, um, ooh, I did like that one dress, this dress. I don't know if you can see it. It has like the daisies on it. Whoo, I'm tired. For not being able to pick what you want and just, you know, it being a hodgepodge of things. I'm actually happy with this box. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these unboxings. I technically have one more for you, but it's already been unboxed. But I'm going to go through and just kind of quickly show you what's in it. Um, I don't know when I'll film that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow and just kind of keep myself busy. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day or um, if your day's just just it's ending. I hope you sleep well. <laughs> anyway, bye y'all.